let's calculate the delta G naught delta G naught and the delta G naught prime delta G naught prime for the ionization acid gas at the 37 cells the body temperature okay so acid gas we know that is CH3 COOH and the acid gas dissociate to gives off a proton in CH3 uh, COO minus plus H plus and the, the equilibrium constant for this reaction is also known as Ka and the value is known for that is 1.8 10 to the power of negative 5. So that's what we have here, and that's the information that we are going to use to calculate delta G naught and delta G naught prime. So in this case here, uh, what we have to use is the, the equation that we already know. It's delta G naught equals minus RT natural logarithm of the equilibrium constant in this case here ka right so we have the uh, the information we we know that the r is 3.14 joules per mole per kelvin right the temperature here uh, is 37 so we have to use temperature in, in Kelvin, so plus 207.3. So this is going to be 310. So the temperature is 310 Kelvin, right? So the delta G naught is going to be minus 8.314 times 310 times the logarithm of the equilibrium constant that has been given to us in the table, in this case, the exams will give you the data bank. So that will be 1.8, 10 to the power of negative 5. So let's use the calculator here. You can use the calculator there while I'm doing this thing so that makes sure that we get in the same place. So we get here, the result is negative, but there is the negative sign here, so we're going to get become positive is 28,158 joules per mole. Uh, so that can also be simplified by using delta G naught approximately 28.16 kilojoule per mole. And what this is telling us, the delta G is positive, right? So it tells us that the, at this condition, at 37, this reaction is not a spontaneous reaction right because the delta G is positive let's go up a little bit here and in order to calculate for the other condition we use the other equation that we already know delta G in this case here would be the delta G naught prime equals delta G naught right this is a generic equation delta G equals delta G naught in our case the delta G that we want is delta G naught prime right plus RT logarith natural logarithm of Q. So we know here that it, this delta G naught we already calculate. So we have for this one uh, 28,158. It's always better to have everything in joules because the R is given joules, right? Uh, so plus R, that's 8.314 times 310. And logarithm of the condition that we want. What we know about uh, this condition here, remember what was different here. The difference in here 
is that uh, all the concentrations are normally one molar in the standard condition. But in the biochemical standard condition, there are only two concentrations that are going to change. One of them, and the most important one, is the concentration of protons, right? So the Q for this equation, uh, let's go back here very quickly and look at the, uh, at the reaction that we're talking about is this one here, right? So the Q for this would be the concentration of the product uh, divided by the concentration of the uh, starch material, so to speak, right? So it goes back here, and we are going to add this. So we would have to add here the concentration of H plus times the concentration of CH3CO minus divided by the concentration of C H3COOH, right? So what we have is that uh, this is one molar, right? Standard condition. This is one molar in standard condition. But this in biochemical standard condition is not one molar. It's 10 to the power of negative 7, right? So that's what makes the difference in here. So now we are going to calculate then the same thing here except that uh, this is going to be log of 10 to the power of my, uh, negative 7, right? So it's going to be 10 to the power of negative 7. Then we take this logarithm there, and we go from there. This alone is, uh, is minus 16.1. So this term here, only the second term here, is going to be minus 41,542. And the first term remains the same, so that's 288,158. That's the delta G naught prime that we are trying to calculate. So the result comes out as minus 13,384, approximately, joules per mole. Okay? So then you can also... Uh, you can also express that in kilojoules per mole, which will be approximately 13.38 kilojoules per mole. almost forgot one very important issue here, the net sign is minus. And what did this tell us? This tells us that it, at this condition, this reaction is, is spontaneous, right? Under the chemical standard condition, this reaction would be non-spontaneous, right? So that's the difference in here. Non-spontaneous here, and a spontaneous reaction here. That's all for this problem.